Welcome everyone. Rosie the Riveter here. Just teasing, it's just me. I'm Mrs. DeFall dressed up like Rosie the Riveter who wasn't actually a real person. She was an idea on a poster that motivated real women during World War II to join manufacturing teams. Today, we are going to use different sources to learn about Rosie the Riveter's impact on Michigan's manufacturing. What do you notice about this poster? For me, I pretend I can hear Rosie the Riveter shout, we can do it. This image makes me want to help. I feel like I need to learn more about Rosie the Riveter, so I need to read. I am going to use three different kinds of text and model or show you how I write short notes about what I am learning as I read. Then, using my notes from all three sources, I will model how to write a summary. A summary includes the most important ideas from a text and connects its central ideas in a way that helps me better remember what I read. In this source, the author wrote a sentence that highlights what we already know from looking at the poster. Rosie the Riveter was an iconic poster of a female factory worker flexing her muscle, exhorting other women to join the World War II effort with the declaration that we can do it. As a reader, I want to remember the most important information from this sentence. I am going to list a few of these words. Rosie the Riveter, iconic poster, factory worker, exhorting women to join World War II effort, we can do it. Let's read the second paragraph in this article that talks about Rosie the Riveter in Michigan. In 1940, there were 391,600 employed women in Michigan. By 1943, this number had more than doubled to 799,100, with women constituting nearly 35% of the non-agricultural workforce. Many of those new to the labor force were older and married. What had been the domain of young, single, and relatively poor females was opened up to increasing numbers of middle-aged, middle-class mothers. As a reader, I need to remember the most important content from this paragraph. Let's list a few of these words or phrases. 1940 had 391,600 workers. 1943 had 799,100 workers. Non-agricultural, older and married, middle-aged, this means you're 40 to 60 years old. Middle class, this means that you're not extremely wealthy, but you have enough money to pay for the things you need. Mothers, Michigan. Speaking of Michigan, Clara Doutley is from Detroit, Michigan, and she was a Rosie the Riveter. This timeline shows us some key moments of her life that I want to add to my notes. Let's read the timeline together first. 1921, Clara Hunter Doutley, born in Detroit, Michigan, 1930s, attended Cass Technical High School. 1939, left Cass Technical High School to work as a riveter building parts for the B-29 bombers at the Briggs Manufacturing Plant in Detroit. 1947, Clara left the Briggs Manufacturing Plant and began to work with Detroit Public Schools. Based on the timeline, I jotted the following notes. Clara Hunter Doutley, Detroit, Michigan, left Cass Tech, built part, B-29 bombers, Briggs Manufacturing Plant. Let's take all of our notes and write a summary together so we don't forget what we learned. I combined my notes into one document. That's a lot of notes. And now I need your help to make my messy notes make sense. We know our notes came from three different sources that taught different content. This helps us to organize our summary. Now let's think of a sentence we can write that helps us share these ideas we learned. Let me model this first. Posters with Rosie the Riveter encourage women to work in factories to help with the World War II efforts. Rosie the Riveter is known for saying, we can do it. Let's write the second sentence together. What do you think of my sentence? So many middle-aged and middle-class women worked in Michigan factories in 1943. Almost 800,000 Rosie the Riveters. Of course, we could write a different sentence. As long as we use our notes and we put the content in our own words. Did you notice I didn't use some of my notes like 1940, 391,600 or older and married? That's okay. Our job as writers is to summarize, not necessarily write every detail, although we do have to be accurate. Speaking of, I think I need to change my sentence a bit. So many middle-aged and middle-class women worked in Michigan factories in 1940, about 799,000, Rosie the Riveters. Now it's your turn. 
write a sentence about Claire Hunter Doubtly. Here's my sentence. A Rosie the Riveter in Detroit, Michigan, Claire Hunter Doubtly left Cass Tech High School to work at the Briggs Manufacturing Plant. She built parts for the B-29 bombers. Like Clara, so many Rosie the Riveters helped the World War II efforts. Writing summaries can be a challenge, especially from different sources. As you read, jot down some short notes and then use your notes to write your summary. And remember what Rosie the Riveter says, we can do it.